Good morning, it's breakfast time. I made some cheesy eggs and can't have cheesy eggs without ketchup. Do you guys ever put ketchup on your eggs? Delicious. I got the radiator going and um, I don't have any more firewood, which kind of stinks because it is really cold in here this morning. Let's see how cold it is. 55. So I gotta start a fire. I think I'm gonna make some cookies so we can get some wood from the neighbors. So I was having a cup of tea and I'm so sad because I just used the very last of my Tivana Jasmine Oolong tea. Oh no, there's a little one. <laughs> there's, there's a little bit still down there, but boo, I've had this for so long. And this container is awesome because it's like a really good sealed little container and you can keep your tea for years apparently. So meh, last cup. Time to make the cookies. Okay, so this is actually a really good idea to uh, like have a, a sort of inexpensive gift to give somebody. This was like a Christmas thing, but they put everything in this mason jar and then you just have to come up with the wet ingredients. So we have to add melted butter, egg, and vanilla extract, but then they give everything else and how to make it. So it's pretty sweet. 24 cookies. It's going to be awesome. Let's get started. Dump all of the dry ingredients into this big bowl. So that's all the dry ingredients. And then we have this sweet mason jar too. So that's pretty awesome. I'm just gonna give these a mix and then add my wet ingredients into the small bowl. All right, this is my one egg, my entire stick of butter. I can't believe this has an entire stick of butter and a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna mix it with this wooden spoon in there and then drop them on here, make some cookies. Yum, yum. This cookie dough turned out like super crumbly. I feel like I didn't put enough water, or I actually didn't call for water, but enough butter or like wet stuff. And um, I hope they turn out okay. I have my first batch in the oven now. I don't wanna open it. That's the one thing about this oven that kind of stinks is there's not a window. <laughs> so I can't show you because I already put them in, but I'll show you when I bring them out. But look how it's just, they're just, it's just crumbly. Okay, so I would definitely call this a chocolate chip cookie fail. <laughs> I definitely didn't put enough wet stuff in there. But the thing that stinks is that I was just, I was just following this. These are the ingredients, so boo. I don't, I don't know what I did wrong. I added some more butter and some more water to these, hoping that they would turn out normal because these obviously did not. They're cooked on the bottom, but <laughs> they're not cooked anywhere else, so I'll call that a fail. I tried one of these, and I'm gonna be honest, it's uh, pretty delicious. It's almost like a cookie cake pop, because it's kind of soft in the middle, but crispy on the outside. So maybe it's not a fail? I don't know. It's delicious, but it just doesn't look good. Okay, so the second batch turned out a little bit better, but they're kind of like super brown on the bottom, and then they're very soft, I don't wanna touch it, but they're very soft on the top. But then here is my cookie fail, and these actually aren't bad. I might have just invented cookie pops. That's probably already a thing, but yeah, they're not bad. So they're crisp on the top and the bottom, a little more crisp on the bottom, but mmm, delicious, delicious cookie fail. Here is the third and final batch, and I think we'll probably give this to another set of neighbors that we were um, hanging out with yesterday at the rocket launch, but Yay, there's our little care package for our neighbors that were giving us wood. And then, oh, that sounded pretty bad. <laughs> they were giving us firewood. And then, um, yeah, those are the other <laughs> the other ones. Look These who's home. so delicious. Yeah, what do you think about my my cookie pops? I well, like the best cookies I've ever had in my life. Oh, yeah? All right. I just coined a new thing. Actually, no, I think I said this before. I think it's already a thing. But... Yay, they're good. They're really good. But these look better. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. These are good. <laughs> All right, we went to the Publix and we got some subs and some beer, and we are gonna hang out here tonight. Maybe go over and hang out with the neighbors because they're nice people, and we made them cookies. And we're gonna eat <laughs> our cookies, and they're gonna be delicious. And... Cookie fail, but they're uh, pretty good. So. I like them. These are the best cookies I've ever had. Stop. <laughs> uh, yes, they are. <laughs> Here's what's left of our public subs. Oh, it's so dark in here. Yeah, it's steamy and romantic. <laughs> Is it romantic? Let me touch your hair, girl. <laughs> <laughs> These are the things that bring me enjoyment. Is that it? was hysterical. This brings me enjoyment. Oh. Oh, this should be like a, a rated R vlog, huh? Oh. <laughs> this is uh, 
why we got married to each other because who else would we marry? <laughs> I was just gonna close my eyes and keep biting towards her until I bit her face off. Oh. Miami Beach style. No. Anybody? Too soon. Not soon enough. That guy died. No, he didn't. He's still alive. No, people died in that. Who died? I think the zombie guy died. No, I, I thought everybody was still alive. I don't think so. He got his whole face bitten off. Yeah, I know. I think he's still alive. What? Who's over there? The dog. Oh. <laughs> he's paying attention. He's part of this conversation. Oh yeah, Money? What do you think? Armani. Money. Tell us about the Miami Beach zombie bath salt guy. Yes, it was just the one person who had been taking the bath salts that bit the face off that got shot by police officers and is now dead. The guy that got his face bitten off, still alive, horribly disfigured. Sorry to be a bummer. Speaking of zombie bath salts, face eaters, we were watching an episode of... <laughs> we were watching an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and the whole episode ended up being about bath salts. It was the Halloween episode. Hmm. Yeah, it was. Friday the 13th. Oh, Friday the 13th episode. So, they could have been on Halloween. You never know. I do know. How do you know? It hasn't been a Friday the 13th on Halloween ever, because Halloween's on the 31st. So? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Got it. That took a while. <laughs> All right, we're going to go outside and sit with our neighbors. It's so cold outside, I'm wearing uh, a long sleeve shirt, a sweatshirt, a leather jacket, and then this jacket, which also has an internal jacket on it. So I hope that I'm warm out there. It feels like I'm going to be. I hope that I'm like super hot. That's what my plan is. Cold weather update. There's like this crazy thing on my sleeve. Oh, there's a spider on me. Look at him. You guys see him right there? Eh, hey, he's my best friend. I don't even know if I'm pointing him. Oh, where do you go? Oh no. Best friend, please don't attack me. I don't know where you are. Oh, you're inside that leaf. I'm, I'm not pointing it at this at all. I just, I was distracted by looking at the spider. But he's in there. Can you guys see him? He's right there. Yeah. Anyways, it's still cold outside. I'm sorry I wasn't pointing the camera at the spider at any point during this conversation, but there's a spider on me. Best friend. He's been there for probably hours now. All right, I'll leave him there. So here's something that I do not understand about Florida is that I am wearing a long sleeve shirt, a sweatshirt, a leather jacket, a flannel, sh or not flannel, a fleece shirt, and this windbreaker over top of it, and I am still so cold outside, and I just feel like Florida is just colder when it's cold, even though it's not as cold as it is where you're at. I don't know. I've been in 23 degree snow, like I've been out in the snow in this jacket and just like a long sleeve shirt, and I've been totally fine. But right now I'm freezing because, I don't know, maybe it's my legs. I'm, not, I'm just wearing jeans and Converse. Converse are not the ideal cold weather uh, shoe. My feet are so cold it feels like the heater is not even on at all. My feet are just sitting inside of it. And now I go to sleep because it's warm up in my bedroom. Tomorrow we go to Universal. I know you guys are excited for that one. I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.